Jorginho, Champions League is back. This is your eighth Champions League campaign. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Yeah, really nice. It's an amazing competition that every kid dream about it. And uh, I was the same when I was a kid. So every single year, every competition that I play for Champions League is, is special. Do you still get as excited as what you did the first time you played it? Yes, for sure. Especially when the before the game on the music, you know, <laughs> with the music is something really special that brings me so many memories when uh, when I was a kid. It's, it's a special moment. Are you kicking it off with a game in your home country, in a place that you have played before? You played Atalanta eight times, but do you recognise this place? When they built this new stadium, I played here with the national team. Ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> so you do recognise yeah, it Yeah, I do recognise it, yes. Yes, it was different when I used to play here in the league. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very different, <laughs> but always a really tough place to come and uh, against a really strong side. Mm. The, it's what we are expecting for tomorrow. Well, yeah. How how different are Atalanta from when you last played them when you were in Syria to now? To be fair, the, the style of play um, is not that different because they've been working together in that man to man all over the pitch uh, all these years with the same coach. So um, it's a place that I expect to be on fire yeah. <laughs> and uh, a really, a really physical game. The way they try to to put the game in that way, uh, the way they they like to do. I guess a team that beat Liverpool at Anfield as well or a team that you have to be on your A game for? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we can't underestimate them because mm. it's, a, it's a really strong uh, and well-trained team that they know what they're doing because they've been doing for for many years now. And uh, they're, they're a really good team that we need to be careful. Last season, back in the Champions League, first time Arsenal have been in it for like 16 years, got to the quarterfinals. Was that a success in your eyes? Uh, it always feels that you can have a little bit more, isn't it? <laughs> so, of course, of course, we we were upset that we didn't go through because we felt that we could have done. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's burning inside, and we we want to to try and get more this season. Yeah. What do you think that the squad as a whole learnt about it? Especially uh, the margins in this competition. It's so tiny, so small that you you can't give anything away. You can't uh, concede anything because there is more chance that the opponent has they that you take it and uh, that you punish you. And the, there is more advantage you have, you need to punish them as well. So I think that that's what we need to learn from our season. Always something new within football, and you've got a new format for the Champions <laughs> League this season. Is that a yay or is it a oh lord? Here we go. Oh, uh, it's uh, let's see. <laughs> I think uh, as in everything, there are the positive sides of it and the negative as well. So excited to be playing this competition because that's what we're dreaming for and that's what we want to do. It's been a big week, heavy week in terms of fixtures. You can put big tick by the North My the days. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, does it get much better, uh, much better or bigger than Champions League and then City at the weekend? How do you mentally handle that as a player? Yeah, <laughs> it's a full week. <laughs> Say that again. Yeah, it's two, three games away in the same week. It's uh, it's a lot, especially big, big games like that. But again. You worked so hard to get at this level and uh, you just need to to go for it and enjoy the moment as well. Best preparation though for a game like this must have been winning the North London derby. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, winning uh, the North London derby, it's always special. It's uh, a team that plays sometimes in a similar way, especially defending. So we we can take some things from the other game to this game as well, and uh, we'll be ready for it. And look, you're up and running, captain at the weekend. Competition for places in the team, it never gets easier, does it? <laughs> it never gets easy, but that's that's the good thing, uh, being in a big in a big club. The the competition is there, and uh, everyone's pushing pushing hard to. 
to give problems to the coach <laughs> to decide who to put on the pitch. Uh, but the main thing is, is that we want everyone the same thing, that we want to win games no matter who's playing. So I think this group is, is an amazing group for that as well. You've been so close in the Premier League, second for the last couple of seasons, quarterfinals in the Champions League. Do you sense that the drive from Mikel and the want gets bigger every season, the closer you get? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, you can feel that he wants that so so badly and uh, he can transmit that to the group and the hunger from the, from the group as well is, is getting higher and higher. And uh, we j just need to stay focused the way we are and keep pushing hard and working harder every single day and believing that we can bring home.